Prime Video's Night Sky ending leaves room for several exciting theories and explanations. Although Night Sky begins as a character study of a grief-stricken couple, its narrative soon unravels into a slow-burn sci-fi fantasy that involves teleportation, an interstellar cult, and alien bunkers. It initially uses its science fiction elements as devices to drive its characters' personal, human plotlines. However, the pace picks up dramatically in the last few episodes and builds a strong foundation for its cosmic conundrums, and although Night Sky didn't resolve many of its mysteries towards the end, it leaves viewers with more questions than answers. Night Sky's plot is split between two parallel storylines. One revolves around a couple, Franklin and Irene, J.K. Simmons and Sissy Spacek, who harbor a mysterious portal to another planet in their backyard shed. Meanwhile, a second narrative unfolds in Argentina, where a teenage girl, Tony, Rocio Hernandez, learns that there's a lot more to her family history than meets the eye and is somehow connected to the Franklin and Irene's shed. With so many revelations in Amazon's Night Sky Season 1, there is a lot to be speculated and understood about its overarching themes and intriguing plotlines. Night Sky's Carol explained. Tony's father is possibly living on an alien planet. Night Sky Carol City Town. In Night Sky Episode 8, Compensation, a brief banter ensues between Tony and Cornelius, in which Cornelius wins her trust by revealing that her father, Caleb, is living in a place called Carol. Although nothing more about Carol is revealed in Night Sky's first season, the fact that Caleb is living in Carol implies that it is either the name of the alien planet where the show's overarching cult is located or the name of the specific location on the planet where the Night Sky cult has been established. Interestingly, the word, Carol, is derived from the Latin word, Carolium, which means, blue. This could be a subtle nod to the alluring blue starry sky that initially helped Frank and Irene deal with grief and later inspired them to explore the planet's mysteries. What happened to Byron in Night Sky? His whereabouts were still unknown when Night Sky finished. Night Sky Byron Albemarle. Carrying the heavy burden of proving his worth to his wife, Franklin's nosy neighbor, Byron, takes a leap of faith and steps out on the planet with a spacesuit on. At first, he seems fine as he finds Irene's teleported coffee table lying in the middle of nowhere, but soon after, he disappears from sight, with his whereabouts remaining unknown throughout the rest of the season. While, initially, it seems like Byron may have died, Night Sky's ending indicates that he could very well be alive and might have ventured off further into the ruins of the planet. Byron's excitement before Frank lost his signal on the walkie-talkie suggests that he, too, found the hidden civilization on the planet. By doing so, it would not take him long to learn that the planet's air is breathable, and its land is inhabitable. However, even if he did manage to reach the cult's dwelling on the planet, the cult's intolerance toward traitors and intruders indicates that they are determined to keep their existence secret and wouldn't welcome outsiders with open arms. As a result, even if Byron is still alive, his life is probably in danger. Why Denise left with Jude? Leaving felt like the right thing to do. Night Sky Episode 8 Denise Denise's decision to leave with Jude comes in tandem with a previous scene where she opens up to Franklin. During a visit to her father's grave, Denise pours her heart out and confesses to Franklin that she has not been too happy with her life lately. She further adds that her fears harken back to her father's struggles with depression, due to which she's thinking about dropping out of school. Franklin supports her decision and advises her to learn to trust herself.